And then I'm just going to demonstrate, just making up a form, I'm going to make up a skinny tray. And I'm going to thin it out right on this board. It's not designed to be stacking and be a set of anything. I'm going to get it on a board. So I've thinned it out sufficiently. There's a little dry wad in there that I'm just going to ignore. It'll be OK. And I'm going to refine the shape a little bit. So often when I roll out a big slab and I cut as many pieces from templates as I can fit, I'll look at the shape. I try to reserve and combine things together so I have an area where I can just do a freeform piece of some size. It's that idea, I think, of just not wasting anything. If I've gone to the effort of rolling out a slab, I might as well use as much of it as I can. And again, even with the scoring, I'll just come in about an inch and score. Ideally, I like it when one coil wraps around the whole thing. So I will paint a little water. and. As you go through this DVD, you'll notice that I don't use slip. I just use water. And it's just that I've learned that it's as, as effective. I'm going to lift this up in part, but I'm pressing down. And as I press down, I'm using just my torso here to control this wheel. I can just do it like that, and my hands are free. I'm pressing down with a tiny little slide at the end of the press to the left. So just stretching that, which will help it stick. I'm starting to blend it into the body of the form. And as I get up to where I started, I will just cut, and I'll cut a little bit over so that the end of the coil will slightly overlap the beginning of the coil. And that's just for security reasons. If this was going to crack anywhere in the course of everything it's going to go through from drying to being fired, it would be there. So I will even score over that join a little bit. I'm wringing out a sponge into the damp stage. And I'm just drawing the sponge very lightly again, a little compression over this coil. I'm just starting to really work on blending it a bit. I can't blend it too much at this point. It's too soft. And it would go all over the place, ultimately. So then I will just use the side of this skewer and literally draw a seam, just seaming that coil together on the outside only. And this is ready to set up depending on humidity, air, do I have a heat gun, do I want to stick it in the sunshine. But if I just leave it in my studio in Nebraska where I live, a dry climate, in 20 minutes or so, I can start forming it. This has been out in the Columbus sunshine for 10 minutes. And I just evaluated whether I think it's still pretty flabby, whether I think I can form this at this point. And you saw how it didn't take any time to roll this out or form it. So if it fails, then you make another one. So I just flipped it over. And I'll take my hands out. And you can see how the coil is just keeping this raised above the surface. So it's not completely flabby. It, the edges didn't go like that. And I'm going to just tap down. And this is what I love about this. Just this tapping down, you will see that the edges are starting to raise up. OK, then I'm going to work with very wet hands. And I'm going to just start finding that coil. Again, a fairly light pressure. I'm exploring the base of this slab, pushing it down and moving it out to where the coil is. Here's the form my hands are making. And you can see that form is lifting. It's lifting the edge. These outside fingers are literally lifting this rim up. While my thumb, doing three things, it's finding the coil. And the angle, 45 degrees about, is also forming that replicating lift. So at this point now, I've formed it. It's, it's pretty, pretty good but all the rim area is wretched. So at this point, whisper hold, I'm just coming and compressing the rim, knocking down the knife edge that's so still a very apparent. And I'm just going to come in here. So I'm spreading my hands out to just equally, hopefully, to articulate where's the middle. I'm deciding it's there. And I'm just going to do this. 
And I could just do that and leave something like this, the double banana split bowl, for example. But I'm going to start back, I'm going to come in here, and by holding where I want the ruffle to go out, I'm going to then push in between. 